Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this very short tutorial, we are going to learn about a deep learning library, a Python library in fact, that helps us remove objects. Yes, this image that you currently see is from the movie La La Land. If you decide to remove the main character of the movie, let's say the this, this, this guy, if you want to remove him, what do you want to do? All you have to do is use deep learning and then remove him. Now that's it, he's gone. So if you want to do this, without using any online solution completely for free on your local machine using deep learning without having to code your own neural network then this video is for you here we are not going to talk about the deep learning technique itself we are not going to get into the code but rather we would use an open source library out of box and then i'm going to show you how you can do this by yourself without getting into the technical details of it but i'm going to show you also the the library and what kind of um, architecture that they use to do this thing first thing we need to know what is the library so the library is called llama cleaner so llama cleaner is an image in painting tool powered by state of the art ai so state of the art ai in this case they use two model architectures one is called llama the second one is called LNDM. So there are two different models that helps you to do this task. But again, you don't have to get into the details if you don't want to get into the details. Just to quickly show you, Llama is a, like as the name suggests, you can see, a resolution robust, large mask in painting with Fourier convolutions. And that's what, that's what this paper is. You can see the paper and you can see the examples. You can also try this out on your um, Google Collab if you want. Once again, like I said, we are not going to get into the details, but this link will be in the YouTube description for you to check it out. But if you like this, um, I mean, of course, um, I like this work. So I would uh, recommend you to be kind and then just star this repository, which means it could it, it could motivate, of course, the authors of the developers of this repository. The same thing with Llama Cleaner as well. So go ahead, then click star and then, you know, start the repository. Also, always a good practice to go ahead and then check if the um, if the developer is um, open for sponsorship you know if, if that kind of thing can support them but um, but yeah coming back to what we wanted to do we wanted to use this library which in this case is a llama cleaner library and we want to see how we can do this on our local machine there are a lot of solutions available on internet for this thing but most of the times you know it might come with a watermark they might you might have to upload your own image so you might be concerned about the privacy um, but but in this case, you are basically using deep learning based application on your local machine, like just just within your browser, and then you can do the same thing like what I what I showed you. So first thing is um, just just have have a read through this website, um, this GitHub page, which I link in the YouTube description, so you have an idea about like what, what is actually happening. So the first thing, how do you install it? You need to install pip install llama cleaner. So this is if you are going to do only application, like if you are going to just use llama cleaner to clean or remove your background then you can do this but let's say you want to also work on the application itself you want to make some changes in the front end you want to make some changes in the back end then you have a development mode how you can do this like you can use it within docker you can just separately create your um, um, you know do your own yarn build you have a lot of different ways we're not going to see that um yeah the developer has a buy me a coffee i guess um oh so, so so far nobody has bought anything so if you find this useful please please go ahead and then buy a copy for the developer it should it should really mean a lot to the developer um so we're going to only see the application side of it we're not going to see the development side of it so as an application side we're going to learn how to install this library and then how to invoke this library and how to do the change and different options that you have got so now that we know about llama cleaner let's move into our terminal where we can learn how to install llama cleaner so i've opened the terminal all i have to do is pip3 install llama cleaner i'm going to install it in quiet mode so first time when you install it it might take a little bit of time first time to install and then when you invoke it when you invoke it then it's going to also take a little bit of time to actually download the model so the first time it's going to download the model so what do you need to do the first time llama cleaner is the cli the invoke command and then you have got certain parameters what are the available commands you can see what model you want to select you can select do you want to use cpu or if you have got gpu you can use cuda do you want to use it from your browser or do you want to use it as a gui gui application and then you have got a bunch of other options and uh, for, for our purpose 
what is more important is which port do you want like it's possible quite possible that you are already running a local server so you don't want to disturb that port you can you can always uh, use a different port so i'm going to copy this quietly i'm going to go to my terminal and then i'm going to paste this once i paste this and i start running you are going to see a lot of code here and then it's going to basically give you a lot of options about um, how you can run it and it says that you know it's it's available currently on um, on, on in this particular url i'm going to copy this come back here and i'm going to paste this once i paste this you're going to see this interface this interface is where you're going to actually do the background removal so this is this is currently in my browser as you can as you can see this is currently in my browser so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to drag and drop an image first thing i'm going to do is to show you the same image that i showed you at the start of the video then i would like to show you also one more image which i found um slightly useful Okay, so let me get the image and we have got the image. So we have got, um, I think, I think uh, Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Um, oh, no, sorry. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Sorry. Um, if any Ryan Gosling fan is there, please, please, please forgive me. So we have got Ryan Gosling here. And um, wh what are we going to do now? We are going to remove Ryan Gosling from this image. So the options that you see here, uh, let me, let me get, get it a little up. So... The options that you see here the first is the current resolution of the image the second is the size of the brush the, this brush size if you want a larger size like you, you can select a larger size and then you have got um, you know undo and the, the, like download the image those kind of options i've selected a higher brush size because we are not dealing with um, very um, sophisticated image in this case if you want to you know lower the resolution the conversion the background cleaner process would take less time i mean as as you might have already guessed so i'm going to lower the resolution first and i'm going to sue, say please 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 go away ryan ronalds like that's what i'm saying okay this, this is not going to be very perfect because i'm not doing it in a perfect way anybody who has worked um in uh, photoshop you might probably know that you know this is the worst way to actually mark mark the area using a lasso tool or something B but still just just i don't want oh that's it ryan ronalds Oh, I'm so sorry. Ryan Gosling is gone. That's that's it. He's he's gone. So it's it's quite simple, as you can see. Now you can just simply download the image and then start using it. You've got uh, you've got some more options. Like if you want to undo and then keep him back, you can do that. But 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 you you got the point. You got the point of how to remove this. I would like to quickly show you how it also works. And now now you might actually think you know what um there there is a really contrasting background. You know, I can I can simply use magic wand if you have used Photoshop and then do the same thing. Um, there is nothing great about using deep learning here. This is something that you might think. And I think it's a quite quite a valid thought given the example that I've chosen. So I would like to show you something else that I found interesting. And um, this is an image that I tested from Dune. So if you have not seen Dune, uh, Dune, I mean, of course, Dune, Dune is a very nice movie. Um, Dune. Um, so this is a, this is a scene where you, you can see that. Um, he has got uh, Timothy Chalamet. He has got um, a, a sword, a knife um, before, before a fight or after a fight. So now let's see if uh, if we have uh, if we have the talent or uh, the skill using our deep learning tool to remove the knife. I don't know what is it called. Let's let's call it knife for a moment. Um, remove it. So I'm going to down downgrade the image again. I'm going to downscale it just because I'm showing it on a live video. I'm not editing it. So that's why I'm downscaling it. But if you want to keep the same resolution, it might take a couple of seconds more. I've downscaled it, increase the brush size a little bit. So I'm going to say this, 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 until this. That's it. I just want to basically remove the knife. Um, let's let's see how well it works out. And if it works out, I think this is an amazing solution. Like I said, there are a lot of solutions available online where you have to upload the image. But currently, if you notice, um. This is happening in my local host, which means um, I'm not compromising my privacy. I can do it. Um, I can do use it for any purpose. Nobody's going to question me what kind of images are uploaded um, and all those things. Amazing. The, the, the knife is gone and it looks really, really amazing. Like I am um, amazed by this process. I hope you are also amazed by this process. So this video was supposed to be a very quick video of um, how, you know, this this amazing tool the open source tool that I recently come across, which is just to quickly reiterate, we first learned to install Llama Cleaner 
and uh, we learned how to invoke that and once we invoke that so you can you can basically see um, different command options then we got an image into it we just tried to remove some object um, and and it worked fine if you want to change um, the the image um, the, the model you can click the settings and then here you have got two options one the in painting model currently we are using llama second uh, if you want ldm you can use ldm and also there is a high resolution strategy so you know how do you want to do it all those kind of things you can do it and uh, the same thing again you you have light mode you have dark mode you know you know i'm recording this in night so light mode is going to affect my eyes but i'm going to stick to dark mode so this is an amazing um, application thank you so much to the developer actually sandster let's see if we have uh, sandster's original name queen sandster okay so thank you so much um for making this amazing library once again like i said if you really like this tool or you're going to make um, make profit money out of it pl please consider su supporting the developer it should mean a lot and i hope this video was helpful to you in understanding or learning something new um that 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 can help you during your holiday pictures or wedding pictures just just to remove out the relative that you don't like or whatever you would like to do uh, if you have any comments let me know in the comment section if you know some library that uh, that th th that is the same thing um, let me know otherwise i hope you stay safe peace